Hello and welcome back Legionaries, Mars Hall Magnus here bringing you another Age of Empires 4 video. Today we're looking at uh, the new factions, so we're going to have a look at Ottomans. My last video was a 2 versus 2 where I played as the Malians, um, but as the Ottomans, so we're just going to quickly just read through the civilization bonuses here. So, um, training units and advancing the ages grant experience towards Vizier points. The higher cost of the action, the more experience is earned. Gain up to five Vizier points and spend them to unlock powerful, unique Ottoman bonuses. Military schools can produce units continuously at no cost. Influence from blacksmiths and universities provide increased military unit production speeds after each age up. Yanissary uh, hand cannoneer unit available in the castle age, able to repair siege engines. Um, the meta uh, war drummer enhances the attack and defenses of nearby military units. Field the great bombard siege engine with longer range and area damage. Uh, produce the Grand Galley ship that can convert into a floating military school, or what? And movement speed of trade ships and transport ships increased. Cannot harvest a boar because uh, they don't like pigs. So we're just going to jump into a, um, a 1v1 this time uh, against the AI. And I'm going to put the AI as the Malians. Um, I'm going to play as green and they're going to play as orange um, on a small micro-sized uh, Dry Arabia, and we're going to put the, um, I wonder, should we do it on the Sahara Desert or the Mediterranean? We'll do the Mediterranean this time. I haven't seen this one. I've done the Sahara in a, in a, in a, what was it, uh, versus AI game, uh, but it'd be nice to see what this biome is because this was recently introduced. So these are all the biomes now, and I think these last two are the newest ones that were introduced. So Mediterranean is what I want to check out. And we're just going to go ahead and start the game. And I'll just generally talk about what I'm trying to do as I play the Ottomans. And then just kind of describe my feel. Um, and whether or not they feel fairly intuitive or quite complex in terms of how you have to utilize uh, their, their uniqueness and their uh, civilization bonuses. So we'll just start off there. It's been really nice getting back into Age of Empires 4. Um, I barely touched it after release just due to life and uh, friends wanted to play other games and I kind of lost my willingness to uh, do YouTube videos. But now I'm back into it. just going to start churning them out and then we'll see what you guys think, whether you like them or not. Um, but either way, just fancy making some YouTube videos, you know. Um, I'm always going to go, sorry, with... Two scouts. Oh, this is a very luscious looking biome. I quite like it actually. It just reminds me of you've got these uh these I can't remember what these trees are called. I can't even Cyp cypress trees, that's it. Cypriot trees, cypress trees. Um which reminiscent of the Mediterranean Medi Mediterranean biome or area of the world. But um the town centre looks quite cool. Now I've got my second scout out and I'm just gonna go and get some as many sheep as I can. Uh, we'll get our first villager out and put a, a house out just here. This is the vizier points, I think, or experience. Um, I think you can get earn vizier by training units and advancing to next age. So units specifically be being, I think, um, uh, which one? The like military units. So we'll close that. We'll go through each of those and have a look at them shortly, but. Um, I'm going to go put these sheep back here. And we should have them in the corners. We should have that up and running soon, which we have. Whoa, that's not good. Oh, gosh. Gosh, that was very poor timing. should never leave your villagers without gathering food. So that's just hampered, uh, hindered me a little bit against uh, this AI, this Malian AI. Um... We'll get them on there, and then I think I need to start looking at some gold thereafter. So we've got... There we go. And we're just going to keep looking for sheep. I don't know if it's actually beneficial to go to Scout. I, I, I think it's good for some factions, maybe, but not maybe not these guys. But, ooh. Need that sheep. Sheep are good. We'll go this way next. Nice. Go through this fog of war here. Right, that's up. We'll get them the rest on food now. 
we can't like, we can't actually harvest um, boar as uh, the Ottomans because I think that's religious region reasons for um, this particular faction. Okay, let's go in this way, and we found the Malians. Get another house up and running. So it's 15, uh, 15 pop almost. And we've got lots of sheep now, so I'm just going to keep looking and then I'm going to go back. But I think the next one I'm going to put up a mill. Uh, I've actually got a windmill as opposed to what we see from the, the deli, that kind of thing. I've actually got a physical windmill. Same as um, ooh, as uh, the Western civilizations. Some of these guys, this guy went back too. Actually, no, you can keep going around. Nope. You back. You keep looking. Yes. Get some more people on gold. Okay. And we'll get wheelbarrow up and running. Is it worth doing wheelbarrow? Is that a bit sad? No, that's, that's not good. Um, I don't think we're too far off, actually. Yeah, we just need 400. There we go. Now, first landmark. Axes and mill grows four berry bushes, or axes and market comes with two traders garrison generates up to 28 gold. I'm going to do that right in the corner. So, generates gold when you have garrisoned... Um, traders up to six, um, and I can send those over here, and we'll be trading diagonally across the map. So a lot of gold input from there, and I should probably think about making a barracks, which I'm going to do now. We'll go around again. Send these guys back. And I think I can get wheelbarrow soon. Yeah, fifty. Yeah, almost. And he's already gone feudal age, so yeah, he's doing. A, he's a bit quicker than me. I'm just rusty. I'm a rusty so and so. Have this up soon. And get this. I'm just trying to remember. Are there any unique? No, but we could get some spearmen. We'll get two out for now. And get some more people on wood. I think. Okay. Fine, we'll keep scouting. I'm going to put some guys in the... Uh, what should we call it? Let's just go around the edge here. He's going to really get a boom off this Mansa Quarry. We all know what that does, and that generates gold or stone passively. Uh, but when we age up, we're going to go for cavalry very quickly. Guys, oh, is he mining from two? Yeah, he is. He's getting his stone, and he's already getting stone now. I probably should probably think about doing that at some point. Okay. I wonder if I can do harassment. Let's see if we can. Move some troops just forward. And then I might... I'm going to move a village rub to place a outpost in here. So as I can retreat my spearmen if um, the enemy's got troops. But I just want to put some pressure on. I need some more food. And I need... Gosh. Is it really that hard to get... Should we actually get this? No, we haven't even got that yet. We really need that. We should really be gaining that as we're, we're aging up. But that doesn't even look like an Ottoman style. It looks like a French windmill. The French faction. Very, very slow rage up for me, unfortunately. And we got a wheelbarrow coming in. Get that upgrade as well. Okay, oh, hello. Oh, this, hello, he's building some cattle. God, he's already got 300 gold's worth of cattle out. Okay. Some more people in gold. 
Oh, what's this? Not. Oh, I need to get military schools. So these passively generate units. Uh, military unit production rate increased by 25% by age while we're influence of a blacksmith or university. So I need that and a blacksmith up and going. So I could probably do this here. We already have one of these. And I'm thinking... Messes increase move speed units the same information like that. I'm probably going to do that. There we go. And mining rate's going to increase too. So I just got eight sheep, which is always good. And we had one of these guys up front, didn't we? So I can go ahead and build a couple of those. Get our slits upgrade on that too. Pull back, that's not doing a lot, of a lot of damage at all. Oh man, not good. I am really messing this up, but it's fine. Do not take notes on my play. And um, we're going to get some... Get some sif safi. Sif Sipahi? Sip, 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 sipi. I can't even pronounce it, but fast cavalry effective with raiding, flanking, and countering ranged units has the ability to attack fast or also taking additional damage. We'll get some of those out. Should not have three idle. What's it? Skip them. I think I could just put them inside, actually. There we go. So we can do some damage against these, I hope. Yeah, fine. I think we've got that. Okay. Oh, I've got so many idle workers now. Get some hatches out, I think. What's this? Need stone. Alright, get the attack speed on them as well. I think I'll do a ton of damage. I think. Is that my scout? Yeah, it is. Ooh, lost a lot of vision from that. I'll we'll move these back out. Uh, we got these guys inside. Can I garrison them, please? There we go. Okay, right, so... Okay, it's just trying to play with me. It's mind games. Right, get these guys moving. We're going to do some hit and run tactics. 
Okay, now I've got one of these, the and next one... We can either do military campus, increase military scores can be built, increase amounts of gold travel... Yeah, we're going to do that one, I think, that's just... Or allows all siege engines to be garrisoned by infantry while garrison attack setup speed is increased by 25%. You know what? I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to build rams against this guy. I'm going to go just raid his back line over here. Yeah, and we're going to turn on our attack speed. And we'll be able to just whittle down as many of these villages as we can. It's fine. We'll go over round up here. No. We can move these guys over there, I think. Just spreading out all my wood, my wood choppers everywhere. And I think we can go ahead and build one of these, which is the passive. What's it, guys? We'll get two of them on a go. afterwards. So now, wish it would just sel not select both of them. I want to see how much it's passively generating, but now we'll get those going and send those over here. Um, we could do with some houses, I think. Can we get deer? Yeah, I'm sure we can. Get two of those out. I think we put these on the Safi. Safi, what are they called? They're going to slowly generate, which is really nice. We'll get you guys moving over here. We'll get these guys on. They're on attack speed, which is great. <laughs> right, we're going to start building um, rams. Watch with these rams, and I'm going to garrison my spearmen inside them. Which is going to be really good, I think. We'll just see how quickly they attack with this bonus, but I think it's going to be pretty insane. And I do need to go ahead and build a one of these when I have enough wood. This could be soon. So, I don't think I need the stone anymore. Get the wood. These are going to produce fairly quickly. Um, I think we probably need bloomery. Let's do this. Get these up and running, and we're going to go straight for this. I think we can garrison our dudes inside them. Oh god, they shoot out. Oh god, I see how, much, how quickly they attack. Fairly quickly, I think. Keep these guys up. I'm gonna put shield on. Oh wow, we've got loads in there. We just go do that. Get them out. Every 
Put attack speed back on. do fast training, increase production of military scores by 25%, advanced academy, outfit military and scores with ability to produce knights and janissaries. Yeah, why not? I can't get them yet because I'm not age three. Mm -hmm. Clever. Oh, why do I guarantee these guys? Oh, I see. Right, let's go get this built. I'm gonna build it here. Get back in stone. How are we getting on over here? That's fine. Let's put them inside. And just get them working. I think that works on drams. Attack and setup speed is 25%. So if I look at. That's annoying that I can't actually select this to see what the attack speed is. So what's curious is that this one has a symbol above his head. That's not... That's on now, and that's on. So when they first pop out, they're not actually doing attack speed. It's a, at, least, at least from a UI perspective. Okay, well, we're, our economy's okay at the moment. Not really. Uh, we can't build any of those at the moment. Oh, we did it. Okay, so we, we defeated the AI. We showed off a little bit of the um, the Ottomans. We didn't really get to the Janissaries. Janissaries, Janissaries. Um, I think it's Janissaries. I just like saying Jan. But um, I kind of maybe showed off what an early kind of... What we could... You know, you could you kind of cheese people, I think, with this siege cruise piece. Especially while we're putting all your units inside these. Um, if you're up like, against loads of archers, that kind of thing. And just going to town. Um, but if you want to counter certain unit types, so your cavalry are coming in to destroy these, or any kind of siege equipment, you can just garrison your units inside, pop out your spearmen, if you have those garrisoned, and then just uh, counter them that way. Um, but, yeah, I hope you have had... Uh, an enjoyable first look. I really didn't really show off much yet. Um, I'll probably do some deep dive videos on, on these factions and see where we can get. I'm not fully knowledgeable, so it's more of a learning, more of a lesson to myself uh, to understand how these factions work. Probably need to do it on each of the factions um, and then understand what the most recent patch changes mean for each of these fac factions and uh, how they play out in various map types. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. I will be sure to do my five ranked placements when the season goes live. Not too sure which faction I'm going to main. But I'm thinking Marlians, they seem fun, um, a little bit different, but really need to utilize and find out how to use their stealth and ambush tactics. Um, and as for the Ottomans, haven't really seen how strong they are, uh, really. I don't really know what unit compositions are the best, but these metas seem pretty cool in terms of providing passive uh, attack speed and melee and ranged armor. Um, but yeah, we're yet to see, and I'm not even sure from the Imperial Council perspective which order you should really be purchasing this, these in. Um, and you can only do a maximum of five of these, and I've only got three. So what are the best ones? What, which, which of these are S tier for which age, and which, what order should you really purchase them in? 
Um, and I imagine it's also situational depending on who you're facing, how well or badly you're doing in the match. Because some of these really do provide economic buffs like this. Anatolian Hill is giving you your... It's purely economic, this one. Um, and Meta Drums spawn one at the landmark. Uh, increased movement speed to units in the same formation. So you could... It just depends on what you're trying to do in the match. If you need... Maybe if it's like a 3v3 or 4v4, you need to get around to support your allies quicker. This one's the one you want to go for because you want to move your army quickly across a larger map. Um, yeah, it really does depend. But it'll be, see, it'll be curious to see what the pros come out with. Um, and maybe I can formulate my own ideas as to how you can utilize the Imperial Council optimally um, within various matchups. But that's enough for me. This is Marcel Magnus signing out for now. Be sure to like the video um, and leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe if you want to join the Legion of Mars um, and get notified as and when further videos are uploaded in the future. So ciao for now. Marcel Magnus signing out.